Hey guys, welcome back to uh, Mixed Woodworking. In today's um, project, uh, this is a custom-made, or this is a custom-carved gunstock. It's uh, off a of Benjamin Air Rifle. A uh, customer from Maine sent this to have me do a custom carving on it. I already did the one side um, to see how it's going to turn out and how it's going to look. I already went ahead, went ahead, and if you guys could see it, put my design on this side also. I'll give you a sneak peek what it looks what it's going to look like. So I'm going to try to attempt to finish this. I'm going to have a nice acorn right here to have my initials in it. So I hope you guys can see it. Benjamin Air Rifle. So let's get to it and I'll, I'll show you how I, I go ahead and proceed and do this. I'm using my Dremel flex shaft with a Dremel 200. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm just doing the outline of the design, the border of it as of right now. Uh, the bit I'm using is just a, a plain old, just like a little metal bit that you use for metal grinding or whatever, but it works really good with wood. You can find these most places online or hardware stores, Lowe's, Home Depot, and all them kind of places. I picked these bits up years ago and I've been using them. They work quite well for this fine little detail work and cut really nice into this wood. Here I am moved on to the outline of the leaves. Um, I use the same bit as I do for the border outline of it. I actually have this pattern where I overlap some of the leaves and it's a good idea not to cut too deep where the leaves overlap. Therefore when you go to uh, layer the leaf, the one that looks like it's supposed to be underneath of it, it adds a really cool effect, but if you cut too deep, you have to grind away really deep down in the stalk. And it's, this looks better if you don't do it that way. The kind of leaf pattern that I'm using is predominantly what would be classified as a white oak leaf pattern. You could find several different pictures of leaves and different leaf patterns from red oak, rock oak, white oak, all kinds of different oaks or different kind of leaf patterns to be able to use in your application on uh, any woodworking project you do or if you plan on doing any kind of carving or whatever. But I generally just stick to oak leaves and stuff and I really like the shape of, of a white oak leaf. Here we are, time to change bits. That's the bit I was using to do the outline and the border. Sorry if it was a little out of focus, but just a, a simple little fine point bit. And this one here is just a round nose bit to uh, take out the background behind the leaves to make it a nice 3D effect to it. Here I'm just uh, doing that layered effect where I'm grinding down the leaf that's uh, on the bottom below the other leaf so it gives it a nice layered 3D effect to it. 
I'm also going in and touching up the small areas where I'm giving the, the leaf a little bit of a cupped shape. And here I am finishing doing the, a cup shape on the leaves. You know, it gives it a nice natural kind of look to it. And it's actually a really nice effect and it makes it kind of really pop and make it look really good. To achieve this uh, cup shape, I'm just using a little bit slightly larger round nose bit. It just, it's a little bit faster removing the wood and, and it seems to work out quite well. Now I'm switching bits to do the stem and veining of the leaf. It's just a little flat, almost like disc-like metal uh, bit. And it seems to put the veins in there quite well. And it just gives a really cool effect to the leaf. Now I'm working on the, kind of a bead design that goes around that border of it. It's a bit that you cannot find. I make my own bits for this. I was taught this technique as a uh, back when I was about a teenager many many years ago and uh, I don't disclose or make these bits for anybody is a uh, kind of a trademark secret that the guy taught me this old carver now I'm uh, giving it a little background effect it just you could do anything you can grind a little stripes you can put dots in you can do all kinds of different stuff it's kind of just a little pattern that i developed and use a special bit that i made for this to give it a nice pop leaf pop effect to it so it makes them really stand out and it looks so good when it's done now i'm just sanding this a little bit with the 240 grit to smooth out any kind of rough edges or any have any kind of splinters or anything it's possibly sticking up and any part any possible finish it's still left on top of the leaves and stuff that i may have missed it takes that all out so when i get ready to put the staining on it it uh it won't affect the finish at all i also only uh i'm going to show you guys one uh, spot of the carving so it don't bore you it just kind of repeats itself over and over just different shape Alright guys, here's one of my favorite steps, the finish work. This is a Minwax wood stain. It's golden oak color. And it's about as close as stain as I had to match this original stain on this gun stock. This is actually a beech wood gun stock. This is one of my favorite steps to do. It just brings out the natural wood and it just makes the design and stuff pop. And if you guys are interested in uh, having me carve a gun stock for you or any other kind of products or wood turnings or anything like that, I will have in the description below my email address that you can personally email me. I'll even flash it across the screen right about now. But you can always go in the description of uh, this video and find it at any time you need it. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I sure appreciate all your guys watching. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And at the end here, I'll definitely have some pictures up for you guys. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.